Wonderful news. About what? About my son. The judge awarded me sole custody of my son. He what? Yeah, I know how much you love Ben. Well, I do. So now we can be one big happy family. I won't let him beat me. Kyle might have been for now, but I am going to fight for my son with every breath I have. That's the spirit. Congratulations. What's all this? This is a surprise party. Where's Ben? That's the surprise. I thought you meant a little shaft with a Franklin stove. Ah. <laughs> what do you think, Rick? Well, it's it's quiet, it's rustic, it's in the middle of nowhere. I wonder if they need a town doctor. <sighs> you stick to doctoring at Cedars. This is our weekend hideaway. No problems allowed. I have to admit that this place definitely has weekend possibilities. Check out this kitchen. First things first, Roxy. Let's figure out where everyone sleeps. <laughs> Look out, fuck Now, Guiding Light. This portion... Oh, hey, Rick, there's a woodbin by the fireplace. That's great, Johnny, where's the beer? Hey, it means no midnight treks to the woodpile. Uh, I just love an old couch that you can flop up on. Right here is where I'm gonna hibernate all winter. Now, did you come here to ski or to be a snow bunny? Hmm. By spring, I'll be an expert at both. <laughs> Oh, this place is perfectly located. Aren't you forgetting there's a road out there? Oh, it's bad driving in. But once we're here, we just ski right down to the chairlift. Yo! Oh, that was the real estate lady now. Hey, hey, you two. Hey, what are you doing? Hey, hi. Listen, we got a little tired of working, so we decided to take a field trip. Let's just hope Daddy doesn't find out about it. Nothing. I did a legitimate short haul. It's just a... Pure coincidence that I happened to drop by the ski house on the way back. <laughs> well, wait till you guys see this place. You won't believe all the bedrooms. Some of them maybe have their own fireplace. So, what do you guys think? I think it's a frat house I always dreamed of. Uh -huh. <laughs> Don't you forget this place is co-ed. Oh, uh, okay, twist my arm. <laughs> what do you think? Well, I mean, a farmhouse is a farmhouse. Well, can't you believe it's right on the mountain? You know, I bet if we make a trail before it snows, we can cross country through the woods to one of the ski trails. Yeah, I don't ski, but Johnny's gonna teach me. What about you, Mindy? I ice skate and figure skate. Does that mean anything? Well, the only similarity is they're both cold when you fall down, but I'm sure Simon can teach you. Don't leave me out of this. I, do, I don't even know how to ski. Uh, daredevil type like you can't ski. Well, you see, there's no hills in Baltimore. Oh. oh. Rick, <laughs> I'm sorry, buddy. I play baseball and indoor sports. Well, I can see we're going to be spending a lot of time on the bunny trails. So, what do you think? Do we rent the place or not? Okay, I'm in. How much? $2,000. For the season, Roxy, that's a steal. Per month. <sighs> huh? We'll, we'll be splendid up between the four of us. Yeah, well, it's a little rich for my blood, unless Mindy's granddaddy liked to give me a raise. <laughs> Dream on. I'm just kidding. Put the rent like that, I couldn't put away any money for my aerial circus in the spring. Rick? You're a doctor. Roxy, don't count on me. Chelsea Reardon's gonna have everything I earn for the rest of my life. Oh, it's a great find, Roxy. There's just no way we can afford it. How could she possibly have awarded Ben to Kyle? Apparently, Judge Freeman didn't think that my reasons were quite as reasonable as I thought they were. 
I'm very sorry about the decorations. Oh, India, don't be silly. No, it was very thoughtful of you. Here you are. I thought you had the best lawyer Thank in the you. business. What went wrong? I was a coward. That's what went wrong. I was afraid to face up to Kyle a long time ago, and now I am paying the price. Well, I don't see what difference it would have made. Kyle would have sued you for custody no matter what. Well, if I hadn't hidden Ben's identity, I might have won the case. The court is taking Maeve's cover up as a sign of instability. But she was only fighting for the welfare of her child. What I have to do is prove that I am emotionally stable. And I have to convince the court that I am a fit and proper mother. Our lawyer's already filed an appeal. At least that'll keep Kyle from taking Ben out of the state. I will do whatever is necessary to win Ben back. I swear it. Same here. I'm with you every step of the way. Oh, you two look unbeatable to me. Well, we are. I uh, better take the balloons. India, no, no, don't worry. We'll do it. Ben, I'll get going. Leave you alone. Thank you for coming by. I'll talk to you soon. What are you up to now? I have some calls to make. On a Friday night? Fletcher, I still know some people in this state that are very influential. They might be able to help. There's plenty of time for that later. Well, why wait? <laughs> Look, I love you. And I love what you're trying to do, but you can't expect to settle this overnight. I realize that. Do you? I think it's time that we pause and reflect a little right here. We lost today. Not for long. Maeve, this is not a sprint. We are in for a long, hard fight, and I want to make sure you're going into this with your eyes wide open. What are you saying? That I'm not going to win? No, but I am saying that you and me, we have to face a very real possibility here. We may never regain custody of Ben again. I can't believe the judge gave you sole custody. Yeah, it was no contest. So Maeve doesn't get to spend any time with Ben at all? Well, she gets limited visitation rights at my supervision. Judge Freeman saw things my way. A little man-to-man -man persuasion? Well, no, as a matter of fact, the judge happened to be a woman. She just realized that Maeve had been lying to me the way that she had. She saw the colossal deception and she understood. So where is Ben now? Sally's taking care of him. Oh, well, there's a heck of a role model. Reba, Sally is my mother. You didn't think she did such a crack-up job of raising you. Oh, look, she's only taking care of Ben in the meanwhile for the two of us until we can get our lives our together. Our lives? You and I? And Ben, look, oh, Reba, I'm going to get us such a nice house. Maybe Kyle. up in the country. You can decorate it however you I'm want. I'm going to stay right here. You want to stay in Reba Ben? All right, we can stay here for the time being. In fact, it might not be a bad idea to bring up little Ben outside the city. You don't understand. Look, Reva, the details don't count. What's important now is that the three of us are together. Didn't you hear a word I said to you before? When? Why do you think I gave you your ring back? Reva, you were upset. I, I told understand. you there wasn't going to be a marriage. Reva, that was just an emotional reaction. Just! Emotions count, Kyle. I know they do, Reva. Of course they do. But don't you understand? I've got Ben now. Stop it. You're doing exactly to me what you did to Maven Ben. What? You're playing God. Reva, look, I know that you were shocked about what happened at the wedding. Nothing you do surprises me anymore. And I know that neither one of us was thinking clearly. Oh, I was. But that's all changed now, Reva. You've had time to get over your anger, and I've had time to learn to deal with the fact that I've got my son. So everything's hunky-dory. Reva, my finding Ben isn't going to exclude you. I plan on being a full-time husband and a father. Not my husband. Reva, surely you don't hold it against me that I went out to find my son. I meant what I said, Kyle. You said you'd marry me. That was a lifetime ago. I can't marry you now. Why not? Would you stop it? We don't have a future together. We never will. Hey, wait a minute. Why don't we just talk the owner's price down? I already talked to the real estate lady. The man who owns the place needs the money, so he's not willing to let it go for less. We just can't let this place slip through our fingers. No way. We don't have to. All we have to do is think bigger. 
No, I just counted the rooms, and there are five big bedrooms up there. And only four of us. You mean rent out a room to someone else? Well, why just one? There are a lot of twin beds up there, and we can double up. Well, hey, we gotta find people who wanna ski. Well, there's no reason we should keep this place to ourselves. I mean, we're not all gonna be here every weekend, so we can yeah. just sell off timeshares. Well, come to think of it, I do know some truckers who may be interested. And I hear people talking about it at a company all the time. All right, we can turn this place into a mini lodge. I love it. We can have everybody bring in their... So we can stop the refrigerator, everybody bring in a sleeping bag. Yeah, keep the place jumping all winter. Okay, you guys, it sounds great, but what? it's not gonna be us anymore. I mean, who's gonna keep track of all the mess? Hey, we hire a local kid, have him keep us in shape and keep the food stocked. And yeah. we'll just keep shelves in the refrigerator and everybody can just help themselves. Yes, yeah, so when we, I was in Barcelona, we used to have like a little pot on the stove, fill it with stew and help ourselves and then fill it back up again. It's easy. Hot luck lodge. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. All right, all those in favor of a potluck lodge partnership, say aye. 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 Hey, is anybody heading back to Springfield? Maybe we have a great idea. Uh, yeah, I know. It sounds like fun, but it, it's getting kind of late. Um, okay, I got to get the truck back here. Right now. Could you talk about the Cedars? Absolutely. You two want to ride? Uh, we're going to wait here for the real estate lady. Yeah, I'd like to strike while the iron's hot. Uh, watch out, you two. That road may freeze. Bye. Stroke of genius finding this place. Mm -hmm. I thought so. You and I could have a great winter out here. Boy, I wish that real estate lady would hurry up. Why? It's starting to snow outside. shipment for the gallery opening just arrived. Uh, look at it later. Right now I want to go over the list again for the invitations to the auction. Oh, I sent them all out this afternoon. I'd want to double check the list. Well, didn't we already do that? Well, fine, then we'll triple check it. The secret to arousing social success is leaving nothing to chance. Yes, sir, ma'am. Let me put it to you this way, Tracy. Mm -hmm. If we omit the name of someone who would buy a $50,000 painting, well, then I lose money and you don't get paid. Here's a list. Thank you. Now, I checked it against the Spalding Foundation's charities list, so anyone who doesn't have money isn't on it. Good. Speaking of paintings... Uh, hello, Alexander. That's enough, Tracy. India, I came to accept this invitation to your auction and to make a contribution to Dr. Jarrett's research. Oh, how nice. Frankly, I didn't think you would accept. Frankly, I wouldn't have. But I find laser microsurgery so fascinating, don't you? Oh, it just depends on who's performing it. Why don't you have an operation yourself? That's one way to get his attention. <laughs> no, I'd much rather buy his attention like you. Thank you. I wouldn't dream of missing the opening of your latest misadventure. Well, I can guarantee you an evening you won't forget. Oh, I'll look forward to it. I hope Dr. Jared has a good accountant. Why that? Well, we all know your history of diverting funds intended for worthy causes. Try to restrain yourself this time, hmm? 